All right, so today we're trying out a full face of first impressions. Lots of new launches lately. Some of this stuff is new launches, some of it's just new to me, but we're trying out Too Faced Born This Way concealer, some Huda Beauty powders, a ColourPop palette, lots of good stuff in here. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Civ time. I also wanna say a huge thank you to all of you guys who have supported the rappelling down a 40 story building thing for Seattle Humane. We've raised about $1,700 when I'm filming this video. So hopefully it's a little bit more by the time this video goes up, but we're shooting to raise $5,000. So I'm gonna have the link down below, but thank you to everyone who's donated so far. 100% of the proceeds go to Seattle Humane and that's happening on July 22nd. I am also in the new filming room right now. Bear with me while I get the light and sound and everything set up. This is the very first video I'm filming in here. I'm replacing this light with a better light, so everything will be sorted out eventually. But let's get into it. Full face, the first impressions. So this is brand new from Catrice Cosmetics. This is their Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So I'm gonna use this kind of as my priming spray. I only have on my La Roche Posay sunscreen right now. It smells a little bit like bathroom spray, but not like too overpowering. Whoa, that is friggin' glowy. Okay, my eyes are kind of on fire, but my face, holy shitsies, that is super glowy. Ooh, I'm excited to see what this looks like over makeup. It doesn't look like glittery or anything. It just looks like super, super glowy. For my face, I'm gonna try out this BB cream. This is by Aborian. It's a Korean skincare brand. I think this is the really popular one. One of the BB creams or CC creams from this brand everyone raves about. So right now I am friggin drained you guys my cousin it's sunday when i'm filming this my cousins left yesterday last night and then i leave for san diego in a day so i'm trying to pre-film right now obviously for while i'm there but i am just so exhausted i'm also sick i've been sick for the last like week so just feel very physically mentally drained i don't know about you guys but whenever i'm around people for like a long period of time straight I get so drained. People are exhausting. Ooh, this looks nice. Looks like light coverage, but it looks very skin-like. When I'm home, I might do a video with my dad. Let me know if you guys would wanna see. I might have him guess the price of makeup. So I'm thinking about bringing some like high-end stuff. This right now to me is looking like something I would put on if I just wanted like a super natural tint just to kind of cover up my redness and stuff. Basically it just looks like a light coverage kind of tint and moisturizer. Okay, so this is technically not a first impression because I've used this one time yesterday before. This is the brand new Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm not gonna go super in depth about this because I am gonna do a whole other review coming on this, but I wanted to try this one out a few times before doing a review video on it just so I can see, I don't know, just see what I think of it more. I will say. The lightest shade, not super light, and it's also very yellow. I don't know what the heck is up with Too Faced and making all of their pale shades very yellow. They don't have any other undertones in the pale shades. So I'm going in with the lightest shade Swan. This bottle is freaking giant. looks like a foundation and it has the same big... Okay, I'm gonna save all this for the review video. <laughs> Look at how yellow that is. So today I just wanna try this again and I'm gonna use a different powder, a new powder. I obviously have some thoughts on it after using it yesterday. So far, just to give you a two second what I think of it. Both lats coming in the review video. Not super impressed, but maybe my thoughts will change. For me, it doesn't look like super full coverage, like definitely not as much coverage as Tarte Shape Tape, which I actually haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in a while. I've been using my Flower Beauty Concealer mixed with the KKW, like I talked about in Raves and Rejects this month. I actually wanna try the shade Porcelain as kind of a spot concealer, just to get a little bit more coverage on my face. I just wanna see what the undertone in this one is. It's a little bit better. Just wanna cover up. Some of the scar in here. I do want to do kind of like a bolder eye look. So I want a little bit more coverage on my face. Didn't cover that dark spot right there. I want to try a new under eye setting powder. Keep in mind, yesterday I tried it with my normal setting powders. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to try it with a different powder. It's not what I'm like basing my thoughts off of for that concealer, if that makes any sense. Wow, I feel like I need 12 more cups of coffee right now. Slash cough drops and like... 48 more hours in today. So for powders, I'm gonna try out the new Huda Beauty powders. Their whole campaign around this powder was a little too similar to Beauty Bakery, in my opinion. So shade Pound Cake looks a little bit more yellow. Cupcake looks a little bit pinkier. And then there's this one, which I can't tell if this is translucent or straight up white. Doesn't it say it's just called Sugar Cookie. So I might try Cupcake first and see how this shade does. Oh, it has a nice mesh top right here. I love powders like this. 
Oh, this feels hella soft. I think this shade will be okay for underneath my eyes. Hopefully it's not one of those powders that darkens under there. So I'm just gonna go with my usual under eye brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 137. I really like a denser brush for underneath my eyes. If you wanna hear more about my under eye sagas with powder and everything, you can check out the Tarte, what video? Becca, the Becca powder video. Oh yeah, that darkened a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that lighter white one now. Not the worst as far as loose powders. You can see my freckles coming in more and I did like darken it a little bit if you look at it compared to this side. For me, I wouldn't use that again underneath my eyes, but it's for the other side. I'm gonna go do the same thing. I just... <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, that has a taste and a smell. Why am I just not smelling this? Okay, it's very scented. Whoa, I don't know why I didn't notice that before. It smells like perfume. Huda Beauty likes putting in the scent, man, between their foundation and this. Let's try a little bake situation on this side. I never really bake because it always turns out horrible, but this side already doesn't look great, so might as well just leave it there for a few seconds and see what happens. Let's try it on the other side too. I'm gonna add a little bit of the white. Maybe this will, whew, maybe this will brighten things up. I'm not gonna do like, full bake situation. We're just gonna let it chill there for a few seconds and I'm gonna brush it off. Okay, this has been on for a few seconds. So I'm just gonna fluff this away now. This is the Smashbox Brush This Buildable Cheek, it's called. Just really fluffy. I mean, that looks a little bit better than baking typically does on me. It usually super dries me out. This powder does feel very soft, like to the touch. Okay, I'm super excited to try this for kind of my cheek area. This is the Bye Bye Pores Illumination pressed powder by A Cosmetics. I love A Cosmetics powders. The Illumination Powder Foundation is one of my favorites and also their Bye Bye Pores Press Powder in the black one. It gives you truly like a smoothing airbrush kind of look. So if you have a lot of problems with texture and you have oily skin, check out the black version of this. Haven't tried this Illumination one. Okay. So I'm just gonna use this to set this area of my face, I think. I don't think I wanna bring this up to my forehead. I am gonna spray that Catrice over top. Hmm. Doesn't look very illuminating to me at all. Actually looks pretty matte, very matte. I think I'm just gonna bring this up by my hairline. Yeah, it looks very matte. I'm gonna try out a new brow product. First, I'm gonna spoolie the crap out of these. So we're gonna try out the LA Girl Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Dark Brown. Ooh, that looks like it'll be a nice color, hopefully. I haven't been really reaching for pomades a whole lot. I really like the Milk Makeup Brow Gel that I tried in the Shadow and Schmooze video. I've been using that a lot lately. And then also my Maybelline brow tattoo that I've used for the last, what, like four months now, I feel like. Speaking of brows, while I'm in San Diego, I'm gonna be getting my permanent brows touched up. I'm so freaking excited. I have a few videos talking about permanent brows and I did a two, I think it was two year, two year update. I'm gonna be going back to Carrie at Fine Line Studios for a little brow touch up. I freaking love permanent brows, best decision ever. On days where I'm not wearing makeup and stuff, it is so nice to have permanent brows on. That worked, it glides on easy. Again, I'm not super into brow pomades right now, but that's just me. I'm just gonna prime my eyes with my usual MAC Paint Pot. Finally found this again after the move. So I have all of my makeup organized now in these new Ikea things. You guys will be seeing everything coming in a vlog. So I'm not sure if this is a new launch, but it's new to me, I've never tried this. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder in Soleil One. It looks like a really nice tone. Hopefully it doesn't pull so, so Pull super warm, there we go. Okay, I think I like that shade. The formula of this doesn't feel like it blends out super easily. It could just be what is underneath it right now, but it doesn't feel super easy to blend out. I'm gonna actually just take my blush brush and add a little bit on here, blend it out. I think I'm gonna bring this a little bit up on my temples today. I'm gonna go in with this blush. I cannot remember it. It doesn't look like I've used this. Have I used this? This is the Laura Geller Cantaloupe blush. I don't know, but I don't remember what I think of it. We're using this again. I didn't have any like new blush launches or anything. Very subtle. It's pretty though. It has like a glow. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'm gonna try out this Koki Strobing Palette, Koki Cosmetics. I believe you can only get this at Walmart. I got a few of their things a while ago. I was gonna do a video testing out like a full face of Koki Cosmetics. And then I think I couldn't find enough stuff in stock or something, so I only had like four things. So I'm just gonna try out this guy today. I'm gonna first try out this yellowish one. Ooh, I like that. This kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette actually, the way it just kind of like melts into your skin a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with this. I'm still smelling the Huda Beauty powder. 
from this brush. If you're using that Huda Beauty powder underneath your eyes, might be a little bit irritating with that scent if you're sensitive to scents. Okay, this blush is growing on me as I'm really like building it up. Before I go in for eyes, I wanna get my face another spritz of this. I'm not gonna do my forehead because I feel like it's pretty intense. I just wanna do my cheek area again. Ooh, I like that. So I'm gonna go in with this palette, which I'm really excited to try. This is by ColourPop, they're Mar. Looks like this. This just reminds me of like summer and mermaids and exciting things. I think I wanna use the blues in here. Kind of feeling it with my nails. First gonna start out with this shade. Oh, the way that shadow just went on reminded me exactly of a MAC shadow. I'm bringing this pretty high because I think I'm gonna put that green into my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with that green shade. This looks really pretty. It actually isn't matte. No, it looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but that's okay. I'm gonna put the matte blue shade on my lid too, but first I wanna go with that green. Uh-oh, hopefully that doesn't turn like super muddy with that brown, kind of is. Not gonna blend too much with this because I think it's gonna start to look super muddy. I'm gonna go in with the matte blue shade now that looks, oh, I was gonna say it looks exactly like my nail polish, but whoa, that looks pretty. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that blue, dang. I'm gonna have to use a brush to get that exactly where I want it. I'm just first placing it down with my finger, getting a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna take that same brush, my Japanese brush, go back in with the blue, and I'm gonna blend that out. Might go as far to say that that is one of ColourPop's best shades to date, having like a shadow gasm over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the metallic blue shade right in the middle and put that right on the inner part of my eye change of plan. I feel like I need like a brighter pop for right there. I might take this shade right there and I need a wipe. Don't think I have any wipes. Hmm. Okay, that shade almost looks like more of a press glitter or something. That one's a little bit chunky. Maybe let's try my finger. Whoa. All right. I haven't had a disaster eye look in a while, but this could be one of them. It happens to the best of us, right? Like super patchy. Hopefully this will save the day. I'm gonna try going in with the Urban Decay Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. I was gonna bring this down on the bottom, right on the inner corner. On top of the blue on the inner corner, it almost created this like cool kind of mint color. Man, <laughs> this is one of those days. Okay, I don't know. We'll see if this comes together at some point. So I'm gonna go and try this Milani uh, Blackest Black pencil. If I find a good eyeliner for the waterline that I don't have to sharpen, that is a huge bonus. Sharpening eye pencils, it's one of those things that I will put off for like months. I'm bringing it a little bit below my lashes because I'm gonna go in and smudge that out. So I'm gonna take the dark brown shade in this palette on a flat edge brush and I'm gonna use this to blend out that black I just kind of plopped under there. Ooh, that brown is pretty. I'm gonna blend it out with a different brush. This is the Morphe E36. And then just to extra blend that out down there, I'm gonna take the first shade we went in with and add that too. All right, I definitely need some wings in my life today. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Looks like a felt tip. It's looking pretty shiny right now, but we'll see if it dries down a little bit more matte. Still looking a little bit shiny on this side. Might just take a minute to dry down. But as far as the tip, it was easy to get a nice fine point there. I think I would use that one again. I'm definitely gonna put on false lash today because this is a very intense look, clearly. But I do wanna try out this mascara. This is the Lancome Monsoor Big Mascara. I think it's been in my two try been for a while. Big wand in here. I like a big wand usually. I feel like this one would layer really well with another mascara. It feels pretty dry. It's giving me pretty good length. I'm gonna try and add a second coat even though I'm using falsies. I just kind of want to see. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. All right, now I'm getting some lashes. So I have these EXO Beauty lashes. Where did they go? But I think might look cool with this because these kind of remind me of like mermaidy. I don't know. Might go well with this. These kind of remind me of those MAC lashes I used to always wear. I actually don't think I need to trim these so I'm just gonna Put these on and I'll be right back. All right, so my lashes are on. I also put on some lower lash line mascara. I was watching back a little bit of the footage and I think this side is brighter than this side. So it looks like I have more like bronzer and stuff on this side, but in real life it looks the same. So, so I'm gonna try and figure out this lighting situation for the next video. So for lips, I wanna try one of these liquid lipsticks by Colored Rain. But first I'm gonna put on a lip liner since I think this will be a little bit light. So I'm gonna go in with Trendsetter by Huda Beauty and just line it up. Speaking of lining lips in last week's Foundation Friday, I think, the Benefit Hello Flawless or whatever, so many freaking comments about lip fillers. I've never gotten lip fillers in my life. Uh, I don't know if it was that lip color or if I just overlined the crap out of my lips or something in that video, but 
Never had so many comments about lips. So thanks, I guess. <laughs> Looking wild, but we're gonna go in with that liquid lipstick now. I don't think I wanna do this metallic one. This is in the shade Francis. I think I'm gonna take this one. This is Butter Love. Has one of those like flexible applicators, which I don't love for liquid lipstick. It's a little bit harder to get right where you want it. Is this a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss? Thought it was a matte liquid lipstick. The shade is pretty though. Looks pretty freaking glossy. Maybe it dries down, but I actually really like that combo together. Is that everything? I think so. So this is the final look. Let's do some quick overviews of everything. The concealer I'm gonna be saving for that video, but I think the highlight thing for me out of all these is the setting spray for sure. Can't wait to use this again. I feel like it gives the prettiest glow. Definitely one of the more intense glowy setting sprays I've found so far. I like the BB cream so far. I wouldn't use it on this kind of like full face look. I would definitely use this more as just like a run out the door kind of thing where I just want super light coverage and I just kind of want to even everything out. This powder I would definitely pass on. I don't think this is illuminating at all, which is kind of a letdown because they usually have good illuminating powders. This highlight shade, I think it's looking a bit more flattering on camera in real life. It's emphasizing my texture a little bit, but I do like the shade. I would wear this one again. I'm excited to wear this blush again because this one, I like that you can just really build this up and it doesn't look too orange. It looks scary orange in here. Like this looks a little bit frightening. Looks like you're gonna have like a clown blush situation, but on the face, it just blends into the skin. It does have a little bit of a glow to it. It's not too overpowering of like a peachy tone. Mascara. I would definitely try again. It's a little bit on the dry side for me. So I think I'm gonna try layering this with my Too Faced Better Than Sex, put on a coat of that first, and then try layering this on top of it and see how that goes. The eyeliner isn't a matte black. So if you like a very matte black liner, this one won't be for you. But I do think it was pretty easy to get a fine point. I like the applicator, like the tip on here. I really like the Exo Beauty Lashes. They don't feel heavy at all. They have that really nice fine band on them, so I don't feel like I'm wearing intense lashes at all. Huda Beauty powder, I think if you're someone who really enjoys loose powders, you might just need to try it for yourself because I have weird things with loose powders. A lot of them don't look good on my skin, so it could just be my skin. But as under eye sounding powders, I would definitely pass on those. Maybe it would look different on my face, but again, I like powders that have kind of coverage and that don't take away product when I put it on top of my skin, and that's what happens with a lot of loose powders. So the ColourPop palette, these three are very pretty, and the matte shades. Just this gold shade that I tried is pretty disappointing. It was super patchy. I'm gonna try this coppery one. Okay, that one looks pretty. That felt super soft, doesn't look patchy. So I think it's just this orangey gold shade. I think that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I always have everything I used on my face linked down below in the description box. I'm gonna be having the review on this coming soon, foundation videos, some more good stuff. Thanks for bearing with me while I figure out the sound and lighting and everything in the new space. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.